Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to react to one of my lovely patrons, my OG patrons, one who have been there from the beginning, and that is Eric Drotti. He recommended me this song actually a while ago, but to be honest, it just slipped my mind um, because I'm honestly disorganized. Um, however, this is a 15 year old girl named Emma who is singing Volia. Vo Vo uh, and the, as far as I get, then the person who is like setting this up is Andre Rai. Rai. Sorry about the bad pronunciation. I've heard about the gent. Uh, my grandparents actually uh, talked a lot about him a couple of months ago, so I'm really excited. They said it was really an amazing, and he knows how to put on a show. Um, so 15 years old, that is young. Let's see what this is, and if you also want to recommend songs, there's a link in the description to John Patreon. You can also sub if you enjoy. Alrighty, three, two, one, here we go. A broertje heeft zijn podiumdebuut hier bij ons gemaakt, op het Vrijthof. Her little brother had his first performance on stage here with us, on the Vrijthof. I still see him sitting there between the violins. Yes. And now he is a fantastic violinist. He is a fantastic violist. You are in the sequence, he knows, okay, Capitova Enzo Koch. And Enzo has a little sister, Emma. Unfortunately, Emma has a rare but terrible disease. Her stomach is paralyzed. She cannot eat. All the food goes through a little tube directly into her stomach. But Emma is a brave girl. She wants to live a normal life. And Emma has a dream. She has a beautiful voice. She wants to be a singer. She did the voice kits here in Holland, and immediately she won. She created a foundation to raise money to study this terrible disease and perhaps even in the future cure it. Emma, I think, is an example for all of us. Give her an enormous applause. There she is, Emma Cook. Oh, 
Sam sur trepano Mi fer so fouche pa comme Et mi mo comme le enemy qui so va pour toujours Je fais quand même parce que moi je sais pas il me mime con tu right back. I need some tissues, that's for sure. Oh my... What? <laughs> what a story. I... I don't know. It's naive when it's such a young girl singing to not bring the tissues, but I mean, that was an incredible heartfelt performance. What a clear, bright, beautiful vocal. What beautiful technique. But most of all, the story behind it. I mean, this lady has a paralyzed stomach and she's able to sing that way. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> that was beyond impressive, but also just her story, her doing this, her creating a foundation to see if she can cure this illness. I'm like, what, in what a little angel or oh, big angel. <sighs> that was so moving on so many levels. How fantastic. Is it that, you know, to have the honor to experience a human like that, that's, that, that's just beautiful. It was so moving. And, you know, immediately, of course, the story was, it was just moving on its own. But then when she started to sing, it just touched me so deeply. Like the beauty of her soul was just transmuted in her voice. Oh. And also, um, you know, I love this Andre. 
um, it was this Mr. Andre um, because of him putting this together, putting this into attention. Obviously, she already won like a singing competition, but that he also like supported her, sh showing her uh, off to the world. Um, I love that. Wow, what a talent, what a moving performance. I'm gonna need a little sit down and a cup of tea after this. I'm super curious to know in the comment section what your experience was with this. Am I the only one with the tissues? <laughs> and also, is does what I'm sharing, was that a similar experience you had or did you notice something else or did it bring up something else in you? I'm very curious to know. Please share in the comment section so we can have a chit chat. And yeah, see you, see you in the in the next one. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for watching. See you soon. I love you. Bye.